In this video, we're going to go ahead and install R for Windows. To begin, open your favorite web browser, go up to cloud.r-project.org, mouse over to where you see the download R for Windows link, click on that link, then go to where you see install R for the first time, click on that link. Once you're on the install R for the first time page, go over to where you see download R 4.2 for Windows. At the current time of this recording, uh, that is the latest version of R. If you go ahead and click the download option, what will happen is in the lower left hand side of your web browser, R 4.2 for Windows will download. Once it's done, click on the icon to launch um, the installer. Press yes to allow the installer to make changes to your system. Go ahead and press OK if you're comfortable using English as the installer language. Go ahead and read through the GPL uh, public license or press next and um, move on with the installation. Here you can choose to change the default installation path for R. I generally would recommend keeping the default. So go ahead and press next. Then leave all of these options uh, as is and press next. Um, we don't really need to customize startup, so go ahead and just press next here. Then allow R to be added into the start menu by pressing next. Um, and here we can allow for a desktop shortcut along with saving the version number in the registry and the associated R with .R data files. So press next. Once this is done, R 4.2 will begin installing. It should be relatively quick. Once the installer is done, go ahead and press finish. Go ahead down to the start menu. Click on the start menu. Mouse down until you see R and click on the R button. Then you can see R 4.2.0. Click that to launch R 4.2.0 and we can verify that it works by typing 1 plus 1 and you'll see that we get 2. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.